yeah, we stayed in Santa Monica and we stayed at this little hotel called the Shore Hotel, which I loved. I thought it was great for us. It was right on the beach. We could see the beach from our hotel room and there were lots of restaurants, a variety of restaurants, you know, different types of styles and foods that you could choose from. There was a little yogurt shop called the Go Greek Yogurt, which I'm obsessed with. I wish they would bring one to the Bay Area. Please bring one to the Bay Area. Um, and then, yeah, it was just like a few minutes walking distance from the Santa Monica Pier. So we got to do that, walk around there for a little bit. That was a lot of fun. Um, just showing the boys the rides and getting a real up close, you know, peek at the ocean and um, just, you know, nice to take a little stroll in the mornings. And then it was really close to the, I, I believe it was like a promenade shopping area. Um, it was a couple blocks of uh, shops, uh, commercial type shops, as well as boutique shops. So yeah, we really liked it. Uh, it's called the Shore Hotel again, if I didn't mention that. It's a great place to stay. Highly recommend it for families, or if it's just you and your significant other, or you and your friends, it's a great location. So yeah, after we did our usual routine of getting the boys dressed and getting ready, going out for a little stroll in the morning, uh, we went car shopping. We went to this fancy little dealership called O'Gara Coach that my husband has been dying to go to. Uh, they have a great showroom, so we had a lot of fun. Uh, my boys were obsessed with these McLarens that they had in their showroom. The, the specs on these things were insane. I mean, I'm not a big car enthusiast. I mean, my husband's kind of rubbed off on me a little bit, but for, even for me, I was just like, whoa amazing so that was a lot of fun and we also saw this little porsche there that had an amazing paint job so we had fun taking a look at those but then we uh you know had to get serious because there's no way we're putting car seats in <laughs> a mclaren uh we definitely need at least a five seater maybe a seven seater no we'll probably do a five seven's too big um, but yeah, so anyways, we uh, talked with our sales associate there at O'Gara Coach. I'm blanking on his name. My husband would know. But anyways, um, he showed us some of the Rolls Royce Cullinans that they had in their showroom. And I almost died, fainted on the floor when I saw this white one with the Barbie pink exterior. I believe the sales associate said that this is the exclusive Barbie Rolls Royce Cullinan. So of course I had to jump inside and I wanted to share that with you guys because, oh, beautiful, beautiful. Another option that we're looking into um, is the Lamborghini Urus. I always loved the Urus. The second it came out, I thought, wow, this is my car. Love it. Then they had to drop the Lamborghini Urus Perpamonte. Now I'm obsessed with that one. So um, I saw the Lamborghini Urus next to the Lamborghini Urus Perpamonte side by side. And I just don't know why they do this to us. Now I need the Perpamonte. So we took a look at one of those. Um, they had this really nice matte gray exterior um, in their showroom. I thought that was a really nice one. I'm not crazy about yellow, um, which they ha it had yellow brake calibers and some yellow detail on the inside, but I wasn't hating it. Um, so anyways, it was just nice to see that, see the size. Um, and we talked to sales associate about ordering one of those and the time frame. So yeah, I think the Cullinan and the Urus Perfumante are two options. Um, we aren't just looking at SUVs though. You know, we're, we're seriously considering uh, the 2024 Porsche Panamera as well and the Taycan. Um, I don't know if it's Taycan or Taycan. I hear it both ways. Anyways, um, it, it's their, the Porsche's electric vehicle. So sedans as well are something that we're considering just because um, they are four door and the trunk space, at least on the Porsche Panamera and the Taycan is large enough for us to put in a stroller. So we are considering those. And I think a lot of it is, is due to the fact that we have a great relationship with our um, local 
Porsche dealership here. Um, they treat us very well and uh, so we are considering those and they're both very nice cars. So yeah, we have a lot of options. Um, not sure which one we're going to pull the trigger on. So stay tuned. I will definitely share that with you and the day that we purchase it and, and just, just go through all of that with you. It'll be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, and then we are also looking at this uh, this Bentley that they had in their showroom, which was gorgeous, uh, white exterior, but a baby blue interior. Again, we would have to get different specs on this as well. Um, so yeah, lots of options and we had a great time. I mean, just looking around at these amazing vehicles that they had in their showrooms. I mean, LA obviously knows what's up when it comes to these, these cars and these amazing specs. Uh, so yeah, it definitely gets me excited for, for what we're going to decide. Thank you guys so much for, for joining and watching this video and um, just being a part of my channel. I truly appreciate it. I love sharing these adventures with you and I'll keep you posted on which uh, vehicle we go with. Um, hopefully within the next few months, maybe six you know, depending on, on what, what we decide to do. Um, but yeah, it'll be really exciting and I'll, I'd love to share that with you. So yeah, for my next video um, that I'll be posting shortly, uh, it'll be the second part of our LA vacation. And since the boys got to do their shopping, it'll be my turn. So stay tuned to see where I went shopping and I'll uh, show you a couple items that I ended up purchasing while we were in LA. And yeah, very excited to share that with you. Thanks guys.